What's it guys, I'm the issue of back here today. Woo! It's late at night and you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Late at um, night. I'm walking away to East Lee's ground. Woo! Shut up. And Tate. And uh, Joe's for Tate. The, um, oh, there's a pub over What's it called? I guess it's Oh, whatever's got to do it. Joe's for Tate. Huh? And East Lee office in Maidenhead. Yeah, Maidenhead. So, Maidenhead, I don't, I don't know what. Type of team they are. It, I, I know they're above EC by five places, I believe. They're 14th, and EC are 18th. Relegation zone. Sorry about that, but hopefully EC will win today. EC signed a new striker from Sutton, which it looks pretty decent. So I hope he can start today and score. Yeah. And what's your guy predictions? What's your guy predictions? For score. Five nil. Three nil main day. Five nil Eastleigh. Five nil Eastleigh. Seven nil Maiden. Seven nil Maiden. Seven nil Maiden. That's bullshit. That's bullshit as well. Well, okay, James. Even though you don't go to get any games, what do you score? Five nil Eastleigh. Three one. Main. Three one Maiden. Yes. Oh, that's a tough score. Five nil Eastleigh. I reckon. I reckon two one Maiden. What? Five nil Eastleigh. What? Two one Maiden. Five nil Eastleigh. Shut up, five nil. He's going to be score five goals. Don't worry, he's going to get a new striker. I mean, you're seeing the ground. Where's the ball going? Well, it's ping pong. That's it. Oh, can you do what you did last time? Yeah. Up front. Oh. <laughs> what did you? I didn't see it.
vlogs mm. there got back home about half an hour ago and so I looked on my Twitter and I see Richard Hill um, had an interview with the BBC Sony radio and he said that he will give £500 to any charity of the fans decision as he would like to apologise for what he said last not well, last Saturday about the fans saying that it's our fault for not getting behind the team and and they're, lo and they're losing games it doesn't make no sense. You can't be asked to make the team lose if that makes any sense. But anyway, today's game, East City drew 2 2 against Maidenhead. Too fair, we didn't deserve to win that Oh, not win. Draw that game, even. We, just, we probably deserve one goal, but that's about it. And as well, I probably didn't get any clips of the red card. Maidenhead got a red card. I think it was double yellow, I believe. I think it got double yellow. First of all, when I saw it, it got yellow. I thought it was yellow, okay. Then, like, a minute later, I got the red card out. I was like, oh, shocking. So, he got a red card, so that's made it 10 men. So, before that, EC had the penalty and they scored that. Then, as it went 10 men, easy pressure, pressure, pressure them. And uh, on the 93rd minute, Williamson scored a cracker from the edge of the box. So, I made it 2 2, which. Easily, Easy wasn't really performing good today, but it took them 80, 80 minutes to perform as a good, a perform good. I don't know why you can do that at the start of the game, to at least have a chance in the game, but Maidenhead, yeah. too bad, deserved that win. If I come from Easy fan, and Maidenhead deserved to win that game. 
well, as football is football, anything can happen. I drew 2-2, two, two, so Eastley are, I believe, three, no, six points of the relegation, which is which that's quite far, because I think Lake Norman drew, and I think they drew, I think? Yeah, they drew 2-2 two, two against Chester. So, I push is, that makes it good for Eastley. Oh, Eastley next game is against... Halifax is Saturday, which the coach leaves at seven fifty in the morning. So it's early night and early um early night and early trip for me, so yeah. So if, to people with any born at Bournemouth is it? Maidenheadstone, I'll say Bournemouth for Maidenhead fans, if you do go on this video, please like it and if you're new subscribe and see you mm. on Saturday. I'm out, peace.